All right, so let's go move forward. So we have add the adventure uh, works DW to a data source. And what that means again is that you have connected reporting services all the way to your database right here. So you connect to adventure works DW, but I want to create report. So what I wanted to do is create report for sales. So now the next step is connecting to a data set to the tables that I need to use in order to create reports. So the next step will be connecting to the tables and uh, here, let's say promotion to the columns that they have to see what is um, interesting to know. All right. Oh, I close it. Well, I'll open again if we need it. So the next step is add a new data set. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the data set name as is, is a default. That's fine. I'm going to use a data set that's already on my report. And here I'm going to look for that. I only have one, the uh, Adventure Works DW. I just have one data source. And in here, I'm going to click in the query design. So the query design is going to allow me to collect or select specific tables right in my report. All right, so we're going to select the fact internet sales and the cost. So I wanted to see, uh, you know, let me click here. Uh, one little, um, two little things that can go wrong here. If you get a message saying that cannot connect is because you had to, I'll show you in the end of the video here, how to reconnect to the uh, data source is because you're not connected to the data source, right? So you want to add tables and how you do that, how you actually add tables. You just go to this uh, screen and it says right click, uh, right click to add tables and drag and drop tables and columns here. So I'm going to right click and I said add table. Perfect. So which table I want to I wanna add? I said before, I want to add fact, fact internet cells. So let's go look at the table that has a fact uh, that, you know, has the measurements. So fact internet cells, add. And the other one, I wanted to know the relationship between the cells and the customer. So the other table is a dim, is a dimension. So let's go look for a dimension table called customer and here they are we are so we have the two of them and close so we have we can open this up a little bit and we can see that we do select uh, we're selecting everything from the internet sales and everything from the dim customer. And here we join it because they have the join through the customer key right here. Customer key is here, the customer key is there, right? So uh, we want to add, but we don't want everything. The, the things of report is you want to know answers you want answers for the specific things so what i want the answer to is the total product cost so let's go look for total product cost uh here we have the total product cost and also the sales amount so how much i sold and the total of the cost of the product and then i want to compare there to my customer gender. So I wanted to see how different genders behave. Gender and marital status. Okay, that's it. So that's what I wanted to know. So I wanted to know uh, the total product cost, the sales amount, the gender and the marital status of my customer. And I'm gonna say, okay. So, and here I'm going to say, okay, and there you go. So you have add your uh, tables uh, to the data set. And in the next video, we're going to drop them and analyze the data.